Hi, good afternoon, one and all. Let us come to eighth biology third chapter, story of microorganisms part two. Come to eighth biology third chapter, story of microorganisms part two. So, obviously, the part two refers to mainly two phases, the first and the second. The first one is a useful microorganisms. The second one is harmful microorganisms so apart from that the harmful effects of microorganisms especially in human beings and the plants coming to the to the disease causing microorganisms in human beings disease causing microorganisms in human beings obviously the microorganisms like bacteria fungus and the, the viruses they are causing the dreadful diseases among the human beings we can protect our cells by supporting the antibiotics or vaccination techniques. So, already we discussed in page number 44 table the sum of the disease causing microorganisms and we have to protect by the vaccination techniques. So, already we completed that part. So, in this today session, we have to focus on the disease causing microorganisms in plants. I mean the plant pathology, how the plants uh, were affected by these uh, microorganisms uh, diseases and uh, how the food is spoiled by these microorganisms, uh, I mean that uh, food poisoning or food contamination and how to preserve the food in a proper way by using some techniques and uh, invention of uh, pasteurization, what is the difference between uh, discovery and uh, invention. So today's session we are going to discuss about uh, one by one, the first uh, and foremost uh, disease causing microorganisms in plants obviously the microorganisms not only affect the human beings but also they can causing the diseases like some of the plants so we can support the textbook in page number see while coming to the textbook page number 45 table number 2 textbook page number 45 in table number 2 see name of the plant disease like a citrus canker causative microorganism bacterium Jantomonas citri so citrus or citri is the scientific name of this lemon so the modes of transmission like air so apart from this air the bacteria can travel from the causative microorganisms like bacteria so the bacteria can spread to infected lemon to the fresh or healthy lemon fruits so this is the picture about the infected Jantomonas citri which causes the canker disease canker disease this is the bacterial infection in the citrus so the second one is this is called as a red rot disease in sugar cane so this is the red rot it gives a, a bad smell of a fungal infection so in sugar cane we observe that in middle portion of that sugar cane we observe that red color stripes which gives the foul smell so this is because of the fungal infection so it can be spreading the mode of transmission like air and seedling sometimes through the seed or sometimes through the air it can be appeared so next Next one coming to the Tikka disease. Tikka disease in a groundnut. So while coming to the groundnut, sub brown color spots or patches like marks are appears in that groundnut leaves. So it is also a fungal infection in the groundnut. So this can be mode of transmission like air and seeds. So through air or seeds directly it can be travels. Next to in tobacco mosaic in the tobacco crop. So in tobacco mosaic disease, tobacco mosaic in tobacco mosaic virus, TMV virus. Already we saw that the diagrammatic picture in that part one. So this is called as a tobacco mosaic virus model. This is the model of a tobacco mosaic virus which causes the mosaic disease in that tobacco. So it is a viral infection. It causes by the spreading of insects. So this is called as the picture about tobacco mosaic virus. Next one is a smut disease of rice. It is a fungal infection. Modes of transmission like air. So this is a, uh, some, they have to change the color from golden to some light blackish color. So they change the color obviously from dark gold color to brown color. Brown color portion. So this is the 
information regarding about uh, some plant uh, diseases plant uh, diseases next uh, coming to the uh, food poisoning next coming to we are having the food poisoning okay let us come to the uh, food poisoning we are having one uh, do you know just we have to read the points clastridium botulism it is a bacterium which is widely responsible for causing the food poisoning so the disease is known as the botulism means it which causes to vomiting and uh, diarrhea means motions uh, are the symptoms of the food poisoning it may be leads to death of uh, cases like uh, in a uh, groundnut so let us come to that uh, so till now we discuss about uh, what are the different kinds of uh, microorganisms i mean that uh, bacteria virus fungus so how they are causing the dreadful diseases uh, like uh, human beings in the same manner they have to affects the adverse effects in the uh, plants also in plant pathology we can study in a detailed manner in the higher classes like uh, intermediate botany so let us come to the uh, next point uh, food poisoning it is a well known uh, town well known uh, word uh, which is usually listening in that uh, newspapers or uh, in a practical experience especially in the hostels hostels uh, who are uh, living in the hostels or who are taking the street food uh, so sometimes we listen that uh, word uh, food is uh, contamination or food poisoning so why the food is poisoned because of that uh, contamination of uh, these uh, germs like bacteria or uh, viruses so food poisoning is a severe cases uh, it causes to that uh, leads to death also in severe cases uh, in cvrt based on the cvrt the food poisoning leads to death so let us come to that uh, how to prevent that uh, Uh, food is poisoned. Obviously, the food is poisoned. Poisoning by the germs like bacteria, virus, or fungus. So, next one is uh, food preservation techniques. So, how to preserve the food in a proper way? So, what are the techniques we use to follow to protect the food in a uh, proper preservation method like the heat and the uh, cold methods? Of course, uh, in sixth class itself, uh, the lesson different methods uh, to prevent the food items. Uh, for example. Uh, Take uh, some lemon or uh, mango in a pickling method. By adding the salt and the oil, uh, we can uh, preserve these uh, food items uh, and the uh, pickling uh, in a long time, like uh, nearly one year time, without any spoilage or uh, damage. So pickling means adding the oil and the salt uh, and uh, chili powder. Some of the food items uh, like uh, dry fishes, we are exposed to that. Uh, sunlight. Uh, so total water should be evaporated. Uh, by the way, we are. Uh, Uh, keeping the preservation like uh, fishes and some grilled and some of the food items so next uh, smoking also a technique uh, which can preserve the food uh, like uh, mangoes or like uh, fruits so we have to the traditional practices like pickling sun drying and smoking and uh, some heating technique uh, heat in high temperature we can uh, use that uh, preservation of the some of the materials and uh, some freezing techniques so these are the usually we have to preserve the food items for example especially in the aquaculture so after capturing the fishes or prawns they have to take the the thermocol box like structure so first layer they are keeping the ice next they are keeping the these fishes after the next layer they are keeping the salt again the ice so alternate layers they are keeping these salt and ice by layer by layer and they have tight air tight packing they have to completed and they are shifting this materials from a long distances this is called as a uh, called as a proper preservation technique of food items next coming to the invention of pasteurization so what is the mean of invention of pasteurization actually till now we discuss about uh, two stories the first one is the story of discovery of the antibiotic like penicillin the story of discovery of the smallpox vaccine obviously by this alexander fleming and edward jenner so they we used the term of discovery what is meant by discovery discovery means already it is exists in the nature already it is exist in the nature that we have to recognize that is called as discovery for example see sir isaac newton discovered the newton laws for example newton laws means the first law he discovered that uh, the things which should be pulled out to gravitational force so that is called as uh, naturally that is a uh, like a magnet like structure which can attracts the things 
it is called as a, the nature property that is already exist in the nature that he is recognizing so already exist thing is recognized that is called as a discovery but the thing is invention is the first thing he invented that one for example thomas alva edison invented the electric bulb alexander graham bell invented the tel uh, telephone so i mean that invention is different to the discovery invention means the first thing the he first thing the person who has invented that new things that is called as invention so let us come to the invention of pasteurization so actually pasteur is the louis pasteur is the name so on behalf of that his name so it is called as a pasteurization so what is meant by pasteurization what is the story of louis pasteur that is the third story obviously the last one is called as the story of ronald ross who discovered that malaria causes female anaphylaxis mosquito that is the last one so next episode next video we are going to discuss about the last story of ronald ross so today we are going to complete that invention of pasteurization story actually louis pasteur was born in a village of france in 1822 so louis pasteur was born in a small village of france in 1822 he was a painter he was a painter but he wanted to become a teacher he wanted to become a teacher he was more interested in maths physics and chemistry so apart from that in those days he would like to work on the crystals crystals means a small particulate matters so those days he worked on the crystals means a particulate matter on the matter like structures in the laboratory so those days the people who were living in the france they were a great trouble in france for while preserving the wine so to preserve the wine it should be spoiled and easy so in those days the wine industry was facing a lot of trouble in france automatically the village people who has approached to the to louis pasteur to save this problem so all he is working on the crystals means some particulate matter which is relevant to the micro organisms so he hypothesized means he predicted so hypothesis means eighth class is itself we learn that word hypothesis is a possible answer that can be tested so before testing he he is minds observation is he hypothesized that uh, micro organisms may be the cause of wine spoilage so before invention itself uh, he thought that uh, he think he think that uh, micro organisms may be the cause of uh, wine spoilage and also he thought that uh, these micro organisms can be controlled by heat he hypothesized that uh, micro organisms are causing this uh, wine spoilage and also he he gave the solution micro organisms can be controlled by the heat so this leads to the to invention of pasteurization so this leads to the to technical pasteurization so what do you mean by pasteurization do you have uh, how to listen the word have you heard the word yes pasteurization is the technique which usually used in the to milk pasteurized milk so when we bought the milk packets uh, clearly we can observe that pasteurized milk in the milk packets so only one or two days they are giving the date to use that milk packets so that is the packets are name labeled clearly given to the pasteurized milk so pasteurization means we are boiling the milk up to 72 degree centigrade we are boiling the milk up to 72 degree centigrade and immediately we have to cool down up to 10 degree centigrade so we are chilling that milk to 10 degree centigrade and immediately we have to pack the milk is called as pasteurized milk so once again i repeat what do you mean by pasteurization so pasteurization is the technique which we can preserve the milk like uh, items so usually we can boil or heat the milk up to 72 degree centigrade for uh, 15 to 30 minutes uh, and we have to cool down the milk uh, up to 10 degree centigrade and immediately we have to pack the milk uh, that milk is called as pasteurized milk means uh, heated or boiled milk that means uh, boiled milk so when we are boiling the milk when we are heating the uh, food items automatically the microorganisms can be controlled so this is the technique uh, was invented by this uh, louis pasteur not only this uh, 
but also he was famous in that he proposed the germplasm theory germplasm germplasm theory means i mean that micro organisms cause the disease he proposed the germplasm theory mean micro organisms are the main source of causing that diseases he also invented the vaccine he also invented the vaccine for rabies apart from this germplasm theory and he saved the viral test in france he invented vaccines for rabies means dog bite he invented the rabies vaccination and also he invented the vaccines for anthrax anthrax means sheep and goat we already saw the picture also in the textbook so anthrax is the disease which is occurs in the sheep and goat's skin diseases so and finally he saved the, the silk industry in the germany and also he saved the silk industry in the german people so this is called as the story of louis pasteur so that that is why this is the story about the pasteurization next coming to that food preservation we have to remove the water from the food items we have to what is the technique in that heat and cold methods means when we are remove the water while drying or pickling or smoking when we remove the water from the food automatically it can be it standing off for long time i mean that the cooked food spoil quickly and compared to the raw food so the whenever the water content so for example let us take an example of sl so obviously cytoplasm is having 72 80% of water content if you remove the total water from the cell or the items of the items so the raw material the raw material or dry material like the raw material which can be outstanding of long time so that is the technique so that the raw food the raw food materials can spoil long time when compared to the cooked food items so that the rice bag can be preserved more time but the cooked food can spoil easily within a one or two days because the micro organisms can survive less in presence of the water medium so micro organisms are present in everywhere for example air water food and everywhere they can be present or they can be survive but they are more and more in the presence of the water medium if you remove the water automatically they can decrease in their number or multiplication their number so this is the information about the story of micro organisms part 2 so today in this session we discuss about the disease causing micro organisms in plants food poisoning and how to preserve the food in techniques like uh, traditional practice like pickling sun drying and smoking why we are using the now nowadays uh, heating or cold methods like uh, freezing or heating like uh, pasteurization technique so what is meant by louis pasteur pasteurization technique how he saved the wine industry in the france and he how he saved the silk industry in the germany how he was invented the anthrax vaccine for sheep and goat and rabies vaccination for dog bite and uh, he proposed the germplasm theory actually before the louis pasteur one of the scientist lazarus polanyi who has uh, discovered that uh, the micro organisms can be controlled by this uh, spoiling uh, by this uh, micro organisms uh, spoil the food materials but uh, lazarus polanyi actually we support the test book we would like to show that uh, the name of the person lazarus polanyi see Lazarus Polanyi is the first person to prove experimentally to prove that experimentally that microorganisms could be killed by boiling in 1768. Lazarus Polanyi is the first person to prove experimentally that microorganisms could be killed by boiling 1768. But the name and frame was come to that Louis Pasteur because he proposed many. statements regarding about that pasteurization and other techniques so last we are having the one of the story this is called as the story of the story of discovery of malaria parasite in female anopheles by dr ronald ross so next video we are going to discuss about the detailed information about ronald ross how he has discovered that this one and apart from that we are having the one this deeksha app qr code also so i have to upload this qr code deeksha app that also you have to watch and enjoy this 
story of ronald ross so obviously we are having the four stories in that story of microorganism for part 2 we are having the four stories one is a penicillin story second one is a smallpox third one is a pasteurization fourth one is a anaphylaxis mosquitoes thank you children thank you